Louis Sahar his first start since April. The occasion demands big names, some senior pros throughout. Giuseppe Rossi, the only teenage survivor of the last round against Barnett. At two, that the most enduring United number seven of recent times should be picking the visiting team. Brian Robson makes two enforced changes. Albrechtson for the injured Watson at fullback. More for the cup tied Davis at centre half. He also restores Russell Holt in goal, Darren Carter in midfield, and Jeff Horsfield up front. Rossi. Neat little ball. He has neat feet. He has Sahar waiting in the middle. It's Giuseppe Rossi. It's Louis Sahar. And Manchester United's special night would have been off to a flying start were it not for an upraised flag against the returning Frenchman who six minutes into his first start since April got just ahead of uh, Rossi's dart in from the left Fletcher Swagger from Darren Fletcher and a pitch of a pass for Gary Neville struck it against Robinson and his first for the ricochet Fletcher beyond Rossi out by Moore came to Cristiano Ronaldo who was tripped as he entered the box and it's a penalty against the Amansi camera Ronaldo tiptoeing in and Ronaldo immediately claiming the ball to take the penalty that he earned it was right on the line it's a marginal call, it might even have been just outside. The famous number seven. A number that means so much tonight. And the first goal at Old Trafford since the passing of the great Georgie Best is scored by a man wearing his number seven shirt. Cristiano Ronaldo seizing the moment and doing what seems right on the night. Manchester United have a lead. His finish was never in doubt. Brian Robson did make the point in the build-up to the game that he wanted his players to stay focused on the match rather than the occasion. It was uh, bound to be enveloped by emotion. Rossi, it's a lovely take and a lovely turn and he shifted it through for Sahar and it's Louis Sahar, it's 2-0 Manchester United and for them the game is matching the occasion his first goal in first team colours for more than 10 months and inside the first 17 minutes of the cup tie Life already seems rather comfortable for those in red. A night of emotion, memory, and to an extent celebration is enabling Manchester United to uh, hit the right note, find the right mood. Also for Walwick. Wilbrexon on the dash from full back. Away from Richardson. Albrechtson, header out by Neville, chased down by Camera. That's a clearish chance. It's a good goal-scoring record in a relatively short League Cup career. Diamante Camera. He has hit the target in three or four previous League Cup appearances for this club and for uh, Portsmouth. Spooning it for Park. You can worry Robinson here, has his tail up the Korean, and he's gone down under a challenge from Inamoto, which was certainly inside the box, but which was not deemed a foul by Mark Kattenberg, who again, in fairness to the referee, was ideally stationed. There's a physical look from the Korean. There's no question that a Japanese limb made contact with Korean limb here. And Rooney is uh, on Manchester United's bench tonight by way of uh, insurance. One guesses that the two-goal lead might offer him an evening off. 
Given away by Robinson to Rossi, and Rossi in for Sahar, and Sahar in for Cristiano Ronaldo, against whom the flag is raised. Four times now, Manchester United have had the ball in the net. Ronaldo twice, Sahar twice, but only one each has counted. And when Sahar played the final pass, Ronaldo was indeed half a yard ahead of himself. Fetcher, Neville, Ronaldo, Fletcher, Rossi! He knows where to be, this young fella. His goal-scoring record in the reserves is phenomenal. He was uh, a shade offside as it happens. Here is camera. Rolled on for Horsfield. Jeff Horsfield! Inches wide. It was as penetrative a move as uh, West Bromwich Albion have put together in the game so far. Horsfield, for once, found himself the right side of Rio Ferdinand. But placed the ball just the wrong side of Tim Howard's far post. Park. Fletcher. Ronaldo. Rossi, Ronaldo, Sahar, driven in towards Rossi against the post. Smashing football for United. They're playing with uh, a splendid smoothness here tonight. And that guy looks at home in a first-team shirt, no question. The passing that went before was easy on the eye. And the finish was millimetres away from absolute precision in the worrying medical bulletins vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Oli Solskjaer in the last day or two. He may not make it back, still unconfirmed. If he doesn't, at least he has in common with uh, Georgie Best that he scored a goal in the European Cup final. Touch from O'Shea, on by Moore, on by Warwick. Horsfield came to get it. Fletcher took it away from him. Robinson has found touch. All United folk would have wanted it. Indeed, it would satisfy most football folk. For the newest resident of football heaven, it was suitably the man wearing seven who got United rolling. Louis Sahar returns to the first team with a goal as well. And the half-time score at Old Trafford is Manchester United 2, West Bromwich Albion 0. On in place of uh, Darren Moore. An awful lot more is going to have to change in their favour if they're to make anything of this cup tie at all. A cup tie which uh, Manchester United have bossed almost from moment one. Courtesy partly of Louis Sahar, who is uh, offside early in the second half, as he was early in the first. Were that not the case, he would by now have two goals. Clement. Woolwock. Robinson. In a motor. Nicked over the top for camera. And now Ellington. Oh, Albion have started the second half with a degree of purpose here. Yeah, a precious little option, but it's been uh, a forward looking beginning. Change of official at half time. Paul Canadine, who was an assistant, has become injured. And Mike Riley, international referee, is now running the line. And the new fourth official is a gentleman by the name of Tony Blair. On the right there. He is a, a regular at Old Trafford. He steps into the breach. Direct from PMQs at lunchtime today. Rossi chasing. Guard so across. Fletcher, Neville, Park, sharp turn, laid it back to O'Shea, in for Sahar, O'Shea kept moving, John O'Shea, is terrific goal! 
winner at Upton Park at the weekend and a cup clinching goal at Old Trafford midweek. Special series of days for the Irishman John O'Shea and Manchester United are over the hills and far away. Sheer power and determination. And then a pretty fearsome strike. Too hot, certainly, for a Russell Holt to handle. And the cup tie now is done and dusted. Briefly, in place of Mike Riley as fourth official, we had a gentleman named Tony Blair. But Tony Blair is now another unemployment statistic, and he has been replaced in turn by Ollie Langford. That is now the fourth official. Well, Sahar kept it in, and Manchester United have plenty forward. This is Jones who speared it right across the face and couldn't locate Rossi and clearly thinks he got a touch and he's telling the referee that on the way back goal kick given he is why they're here there was only one of him there is his boy and there are being held up 40 or 50,000 pictures of him delivery and it's come to Earnshaw who's uh, denied by a flying Howard it's actually a very brave save it wasn't a lot for uh, Robert Earnshaw to aim at after the uh, ricochet worked kindly for him so Howard closed down the angle entirely Carter's corner, it's 3-1, it's uh, Nathan Ellington. It's a fairly hollow moment in the context of things. It's one that uh, is barely deserving of a smile, either from scorer or manager, certainly not from goalkeeper. But with uh, just less than a quarter of an hour to go, I guess you have to say that Nathan Ellington has uh, given the baggies at least a sniff. Uh, Ellington's fourth goal in his last three games. It was a good clean header. Over out by guard, so and it came to Sahar. Ronaldo White, Sahar plowing a furrow. And Holt handling second time. And a good return to the side. Warwick. Robinson. I've been doing for West Bromwich Albion, for whom this was always going to be a very awkward evening. United big hitters past and present are with us tonight on a special occasion. Callum Best there, bottom corner, his son. Duty done, consequence required of Manchester United, a, a proper show tonight and properly, responsibly, they have provided that show. The son of George Best watched and admired as man United supporters of a different vintage watched and admired his father United are through to the quarter-finals of the League Cup they have done for George Best what George Best so often did for Manchester United they won the match
on this occasion by three goals to one.